I just tested Perplexity Labs, and it's honestly a big step forward in how quickly and comprehensively you can execute detailed research projects. I typically use Perplexity for simpler, quick and dirty research, but now you can easily create visually rich and interactive dashboards as well as detailed business reports without having to overspend on expensive platforms. With just one prompt, I can get the same level of quality as a junior data analyst. And all it takes is less than 10 minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I put Perplexity Labs to the test with five sophisticated real world use cases. From exploring whether or not humanoid robots will transform home services, to identifying the most lucrative AI opportunities by 2030, and even mapping out the potential impact of AGI over the next few years. If you stick around, I'll show you how you can use Perplexity Labs to mass level up your research game. Let's dive right in. All right, so if you don't even know what Perplexity is, it came out in 2023, and it's basically a wrapper on top of Google search that over time has gotten better and better at doing research. Now, in their main user interface, they have this icon, which is their quick and dirty analysis. And then they have this deep research icon, which typically will take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to fully deep research a topic. And then we have this new feature that we're talking about today called labs. And when you hover over, it'll say create projects from scratch. And it gives you some suggestions as to what you can build. So if we take a look at the second one, create a dashboard tracking the latest tools for detecting disinformation across social media. The second one is compile a list of 50 plus AI SaaS platforms offering enterprise packages. And the idea behind labs is it doesn't just give you a text output. It gives you sometimes a dashboard or some form of interactive visual along with the underlying research. And for something like the last option here, which is develop a market map of AI business automation tools like N8N and make.com, this is probably driven by my search history. This will actually generate a report, not just an interactive one, but a full length report with images generated by OpenAI's image API kind of embedded throughout. So it looks like an actual business report you'd get out of something like The Economist. Now, just like with everything, the better the prompt and the more comprehensive your prompt, the better the results and the more creative the results you get. So let's hop into our first use case and check out what that looks like. So you'll notice that all my prompts are pretty beefy. And at the very end, I put together a prompt structure cheat sheet that you can use to better structure your prompts if you wanna be able to use this feature. So for the very first one, we said create a comprehensive disruption analysis of how humanoid robots will completely transform home services between 2025 and 2030. And then I go through what the analysis should include. So the first one is industry death clock, interactive timeline showing when specific industries will face 50, 75, and 90% automation. And then I give it some examples here like cleaning services, lawn care, home maintenance, elderly care, etc. And then next, I used AI to help me with this part of the prompt the 38 billion robot economy breakdown. I looked that number up. Detailed market analysis of the humanoid robot industry growing from 1.5 billion to 38 billion by 2035. And then the next couple is the business model revolution scenario. So what robot as a service could look like, which I found to be super interesting. Create an interactive impact calculator. And this is exactly something that I would see, especially in older versions of articles on The Economist, where you have a blurb of text, you have some citations, and then you have some form of interactive diagram that you can go back and forth with and better apply everything that you read. And last two is a startup opportunity map. So given that this is coming, what are 15 specific business opportunities in the humanoid robot home services ecosystem? And last one is human resistance. Analysis of which home services will remain human dominated and why? So you can see here from my prompt, it's pretty comprehensive and we're trying to push perplexity to its absolute limit. And the result is something like this, where we have some form of dashboard that we'll pop into shortly. It's gone through 59 different sources. And if you go to the very bottom, you have an actual report. And just like I said, it breaks it down with some inline visuals, graphs, citations everywhere. And it looks like an actual research report. And you can even take a look here. It puts together very similar to how Manus on high effort works, CSVs, with underlying information and tables. So it's kind of like reading an actual investment report. And all of these were built as it was actually generating. And it only took nine minutes to generate this request. So if you go through, there's a lot here. And obviously we can go to the very top and hit the app itself. If we click on view full screen, this is what it looks like overall. We have a dashboard component here that says the market size by 2030, 
robot, cost reduction, average, job displacement, startup opportunities. If we scroll down, we see the industry death clock, an interactive timeline showing when industries face 50, 70, and 90% automation. And they got the colors a bit wrong here. So this worked on its first try. We could probably iterate it to be more white colored or something more bright. But you can see anything that is this icon is 50% automation. So did it by when it expects that to happen based on research. You can see all of these dots here. When 90% automation might be on the table, which is these darker zones here, you'll see most of them are post 2030. And if we keep going, you'll see right here, we have a ROI cost calculator. We have a business model revolution expectation. So what robot as a service might look like. You'll see here, it's somewhat interactive. We have an interactive impact calculator. So you can put your zip code and population size and adoption rate and then calculate what impact might look like. And this is actually driven by real metrics and results it's came up with. And then job impact by industry. So it looks like cleaning services, lawn care, food delivery, all might be on the hit list. And then you have a startup opportunity map where each one of these, you can, if I highlight over, you can see robot as a service cleaning platform, AI training data collection for home robots, virtual robot assistant cloud services, all kinds of ideas. And then we have one more section here, which is pretty cool. The human resistance, which industries will be defiant of this robot revolution. So it says here, personal training, childcare. This one makes sense. Therapy and counseling, negotiable. And if we look here at the percentage, this is the services that will remain human dominated with some sort of percentage of the likelihood that they will remain. And you can see it stacks them all here. And at the very bottom here, if we highlight this, it says leading companies in robot development. And it walks through some of these companies here. Now, did it do a good job at presenting the data? Yes, color scheme could have been better, but so far, pretty impressive. For the next one, we asked, develop a comprehensive investment intelligence report by identifying the most lucrative AI solution opportunities worth 22.3 trillion by 2030. Structure this as a mini investment banking report, including the following. The first category is the AI investment hierarchy where you have tier one, two, and three. Tier one being guaranteed winners, two being high probability bets, and three being moonshot opportunities. I then ask for market penetration analysis, sellability matrix in terms of which AI solutions in general when it comes to market demand, implementation complexity, revenue potential per customer, as well as competitive landscape, should you kind of sell and what you should look into. At the bottom here, we have yet another calculator. In this case, it's an investment portfolio simulator. And then one last one I added here is the red hot opportunity deep dives. And then in terms of actual acquisition targets, this creates 50 undervalued AI companies with growth potential, funding status, and acquisition likelihood. So by going through all of these, I'm trying to see, could this be a venture capitalist's, a private equity person's best friend co-pilot? Does it have the potential to do that? And the last part here, this is a real component where I tell it what to do. Create interactive charts showing the correlation between AI investment and economic returns. And then we get something like this, where we have some report that again, we'll go through. We have a longer report here with more CSVs since it's more number crunchy in nature. And if we pop up this report at the very top, view full screen, this one looks way better, way more readable. You have the dashboard with some summary numbers. You have some trajectories of different distributions in terms of AI investment by country. If you click on investment tiers, it'll walk you through examples of guaranteed winners, high probability bets, and moonshot opportunities. These are the ones that I really care about. Market analysis, look at the way that even appeared on screen, very cool. With some supporting stats, AI agents lead growth, healthcare AI dominance, 187 billion market by 2030, driven by diagnostic tools, drug discovery, and personalized medicine applications. And if we keep going, here's the sellability matrix. And then you can click on these, let me see if it does anything. Calculate recommendations, cool. So. Based on this criteria, it's already queued a series of companies and lists that you should take a look into. So if you are a junior investment banking analyst, try to use this ASAP <laughs> because uh, things look a bit uh, hairy right now. Next one, if we take a look at the portfolio simulator, we have a 10K portfolio simulator, 100K, and then a million, each with some expected returns, risk level, break-even timelines, and projected values by 2030. Now, 
we're dealing with language models. So can the math hallucinate? Absolutely. So even if you use this and it looks very compelling and interesting, just make sure to double and triple check your numbers because at the end of the day, language models are imperfect at math. They're way better, especially with reasoning models, but most likely perplexity is not using reasoning models to come up with this. So definitely worth taking a look at. Now the last two tabs, this one's really cool. Acquisition targets, where it creates a list along with current valuations it's researched, and then it created an actual matrix of upside potential, market demand, complexity, revenue potential, and acquisition score. In the last tab, we have an AI bubble reality check where you have some companies that say it's overvalued, some that are undervalued, and then as you go down, you have valuation metrics analysis. So if you are in this space, this is definitely a tool worth looking at, especially since it's under $25 per month. All right, and to switch gears a bit, we have a different application here. And I'm just gonna jump to what it's gonna look like. I wanted to see, since Perplexity has access to the internet, right, in real time, unlike things like Lovable, Bolt, and Replit, we could theoretically tell it to go do some deep research, let's say on the latest models, on how to prompt them, and come up with a mini prompt engineering master hub. So if we go to the underlying prompt, we'll see it says, create a cutting edge prompt engineering web app that dynamically adapts to the latest AI models and modalities. The app must autonomously research official documentation from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, etc. And then I have some categories here of which models I want it to go through. And then a list of different modalities like text, image, video, code, learning pathways, interactive tools, and real-time updates. Now the real-time updates, I just wanted to see if it could work. Theoretically, we got something like this, where if we open this up, it looks a bit more funky and neon based. If you click on explore strategies, it shows you some tips and tricks for dealing with each type of language model, which is pretty cool. And if you keep going, you'll see we have something like modality matrix that goes over the best practices for dealing with tokens. If you go to learning pathways, it's gonna walk you through a syllabus of how to go from beginner all the way to expert. And if we go to interactive tools, let's see what this looks like. So a live prompt debugger. So let's test this out. Let me just dictate something. Create a whole application for me that will do all my work. Okay, so it seems like it is functional. It's giving you an estimated cost. So it seems like they've queued some form of cost analysis behind the scenes. And then what's cool is because I said create, it's highlighting it. And that's because language models prioritize trigger words like generate, summarize, review, or in this case, create. And then at the bottom here, they created a list of how to call a certain model. So this one is GPT 4.1. So they made it so you can easily copy it and paste it into let's say a Python file. And then you have this multi-model response theater where you can take two models, click on run comparison. I'm not sure if this will actually do anything. Uh, I think it just basically shows the speed quality overall, but not very functional there. And for the second last one, we came up with this. Develop a comprehensive business transformation analysis showing how AI will completely destroy existing business models while creating unprecedented opportunities. And then basically give it a structure, create a death list, a birth explosion, a transformation matrix. And you'll notice over and over again, my structure is very similar, where I give main idea, a series of areas that it can go down a rabbit hole, and then overall a TLDR of what do I want as an output. So include specific company examples, financial projections, and actionable implementation strategies. And once again, it puts together a platform right here, and you can actually see this without opening it in full view, by the way. So you can test this out, click on industry manufacturing, and go to machine learning, and then revenue model, let's say SaaS, and then target market consumer. And then you can click on generate business model, and it'll show you some financial projections overall and give you a score on risk assessment. So overall risk assessment here, and then you can go and click on export here, which theoretically, if I open this up in full view, might download everything as a text file. And then you'll see transformation matrix right here. This one's actually worth opening up. So let's do full screen. And by the way, you can download all this as code. So if I downloaded this here, you can see that this would open a zip file with the underlying code to recreate this view. So if we go into full screen, you'll see this looks a lot better here. We have a graph of what traditional versus AI business metrics look like with accompanying charts. We click on view details on each row. It shows you on the right-hand side, business transformation details, implementation difficulty, and like a timeline as to when it expects disruption in that particular vertical. And then if we go into investment flows, yet again, creating some more detailed analysis. And then if we go to case studies, it goes through a series of different companies that you can click on and see some use cases of some successes and failures when it comes to 
implementing AI and transforming the business as a result. And last but not least, I had to ask it about AGI. So I asked it to create a definitive analysis of the AGI timeline and its catastrophic impact on business based on the latest expert predictions. Once again, I give it a few different scenarios here to go through, as well as I asked it for a AGI preparation playbook, as well as an AGI power map showing which organizations control AGI development. You can predict which ones those are. And then at the very bottom, I asked for an interactive AGI impact calculator or simulator. And then I asked it to include a real-time tracking of AGI development milestones and breakthrough announcements from leading AI research organizations. And along with its very detailed report it put together, we got yet another very good analysis worksheet. And you'll notice the colors are always very similar. So you could theoretically tell it, follow this hex code color, and it should be able to follow it. But if we click on something like industry, accounting and finance, and then AGI arrival time, we set it to 2030, okay? It says 80% automation risk. And then it comes up with a series of survival strategies. And if we keep going, there's a graph here that maps out all the different areas and the expected timeline as well as risk. So you can see translation very much at high risk, which makes sense. If we keep going through the report, personal risk. So you could put a job title here, theoretically. Not sure if it will work if I put anything off the cuff. So I'll put software engineer, I'll say entry level, location, US, and I'll say emotional intelligence. Let's say all these skills. Let's see what happens. Calculate personal risk. Now, maybe it's because I added emotional intelligence, but core recommendations are continue developing your current skill set. Consider learning about AI, AGI, leverage opportunities. Well, no duh. If we go to economic scenarios, we have the soft landing, hard takeoff, hybrid economy, and it kind of defines each one. And when you click on each one, it'll show you what the possible GDP impact would be, as well as job displacement and new opportunities. And then you have the hybrid economy and any stats related to that. And if we jump to the AGI timeline, you'll see it's put together a really compelling and pretty timeline of where we've been and where we're heading, along with an AGI timelines prediction by expert, where you can look at people like Dario Amode, who's the leader of Anthropic, Sam Altman, Jensen Huang, Elon Musk, etc., and when they think AGI might be coming. Now you'll notice that the more academic, the further out the expectation. So interesting correlation there, right? Owners of actual AI companies versus academics. And overall, just going through all these use cases, it gives you a lot to think about. It's more than just reading some AI generated slop. It gets you to really introspect and think through and basically assist you with critical thinking. And just to summarize, if you wanna be able to write and structure prompts that work really well with perplexity, this is my general structure. So you have some opening formula with an action verb, let's say generate, create, a comprehensive, some form of deliverable, showing or identifying some goal or core concept, and having some more specific outcomes. And then this is where you've seen in every single example, I have sections that I designate for each one. Here are basically some heuristics on each of the sub bullets. And then at the very bottom, I say some key requirements. I want you to be very number focused, use these kinds of tools, create these kinds of visuals. And then in closing, at the very bottom, you can say include this visualization type showing X, Y, Z, and then some actionable next steps here. So this could be analysis. I want you to not only do the analysis, visualize it, but also come up with some so what's at the very end of the report. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully now you can see that Perplexity Labs has become more than just a basic research tool. You can do the basic research, you can do deep research, and now you can use these interactive dashboards and very detailed analysis in this labs feature. Now, if you want access to the prompts I showed you in this video, you can find them in the first link in the description below. But if you want to see even more use cases, we executed five more in my exclusive community. So if you're interested, take a look at the second link in the description below. I'll see you next time.